Psalm 42 verse 5 A fountain for the downcast. Psalm 42 verse 5 Why art thou cast down, O my soul? And why art thou disquieted in me? Hope thou in God, for I shall yet praise him for the help of his countenance. Depression is an issue for everyone and always has been, and a few Bible translations say downcast, meaning self-confidence is low. Downcast is an old English word, meaning a person's spirit is low, the face looks sad, or in modern terms, depressed. Even in downcast moments, the only difference between a believer in God and a non-believer is, they still have hope in Jesus. For example, we all know Cain, the first son of Adam and Eve, was disappointed that the Lord did not accept his offering of worship. So, the Lord told him, do not be downcast, Cain, do as I say, and sin will not rule over and crush you. Genesis 4 verse 5, but on Cain and his offering he did not look with favor. So Cain was very angry, and his face was downcast. Sixth then the Lord said to Cain, Why are you angry? Why is your face downcast? Seven if you do what is right, will you not be accepted? But if you do not do what is right, sin is crouching at your door, it desires to have you, but you must rule over it. William Cooper, who lived between 1731 to 1800, was a man who is, like me, had major depression and a downcast spirit. Recently I have been giving my family and friends an exceedingly tough time because of my downcast spirit. William Cooper lost his mother at an early age, and at school, he was bullied. Another thing he and I have in common is we are not good with the ladies, so he lived his life single and solo, the same as I do. William tried to commit suicide three times, so he was sent to an asylum for insanity. He knew of God but did not have a relationship with Emmanuel, meaning God was not within William. William's worst problem was the fear of suffering torment in hell, which made him have nightmares. Even I had nightmares before I gave my life to Christ and allowed Emmanuel God to dwell in me. William met a man of God in the asylum, and he would pray for him and encourage him with scripture. One day while reading the Holy Bible, Emmanuel talks to William, telling him, you have faith in me, my blood will cover your many sins. Romans 3 verse 23, For all have sinned, and come short of the glory of God, 24 being justified freely by his grace through the redemption that is in Christ Jesus, 25 whom God hath set forth to be a propitiation through faith in his blood, to declare his righteousness for the remission of sins that are past, through the forbearance of God. As a man of God, like myself, William still dealt with depression, but with Emmanuel, God in him, he wrote beautiful songs, singing to his Lord. His most famous hymn, William wrote in one of his downcast moments was, There is a fountain filled with blood, and is based on the scripture, Zechariah 13 2. Zechariah 13 verse 1 In that day there shall be a fountain open to the house of David and to the inhabitants of Jerusalem for sin and for uncleanness. There are many Christian songs and hymns about having a downcast moment. Hymns such as Nearer, My God, To Thee and What a Friend We Have in Jesus. And modern Christian songs like Praise You in This Storm, Frail or You Say I Am Loved. I had a conversation with my brother in Christ, Nathan Starnes, once while we were having lunch. He told me he is against modern-day Christian music. Nathan is not the only Christian I heard say that. Why can't the Holy Spirit move people to reach out to the Lord in song today? as the same Spirit did 50 or 500 years ago? Emmanuel is God with us always and forever. When you feel downcast and depressed, cast your anxiety to God, because He cares for you. God bless you all. Jesus Emmanuel, God with us, loves you, and so do I. His bondservant Samuel Jerry Head. Job 22:26. Surely then you will find delight in the Almighty, and will lift up your face to God. 27 You will pray to him, and he will hear you, and you will fulfill your vows. 28 What you decide on will be done, and light will shine on your ways. 29 When people are brought low and you say, lift them up, then he will save the downcast. 30 He will deliver even one who is not innocent, who will be delivered through the cleanness of your hands.